but we know that Nicholson is slick and we'll find out just how classy here tonight. It's all pink for Jacobs and all green for the golden girl in Nicholson as Jacobs tries to get in close. Ben Zayman in commentary alongside both former world champion Jeff Horn and super lightweight contender Stevie Spark. And in the early stages of this one, it is Jacobs pressing forward, trying to set the pace. Yeah, Sky's doing as I said, and she's she's controlling her with that jab. Uh, well, great jab there. She's also fighting with a smile on her face. Oh, she's so happy to be there. She is loving it, Nicholson. But she's got a tough one in front of her. She Jacobs is here to fight. She keeps coming forward. She's trying to get inside and find Nicholson, Stevie. She has made it. She's going to use that hook off a very lot. Uh, she loves the counter with that right hook, which is a uh, south force specialty just like that. There it is. That is her shot. She's doing this with a smile on her face. I bet this is a homecoming that she's dreamed a long time about. But she hasn't been able to fight here for so long. This is her first fight back for so long. I think she made her debut in March. And it's been quick fire since then. As she uses that shot. And you'll see that a lot if Jacobs continues to press towards and set the pace. She will try and pick her off, Nicholson. There she goes, sitting down on, on a left hand as well, but she will try and pick her off with that hook on the way in. No mouse, he's coming at her from big punches, and Scott's just got a smile on her. Oh, oh big he's shot. a big one. Big shot. A really good shot. That hook got through from Nicholson, and she wasn't moving with her on that occasion. She sat down on one and threw with power. An oh. exclamation mark on the opening round from Nicholson. That was a round steal of that one, that's for sure. If she wasn't in front already, she was after that. Sometimes playing that way, go the other way. And then with the back hand, it's up on the other cut. Okay, good. A very relaxed corner for Nicholson. In a fidget in front of her, I'd like to see Mousy Jacobs come out this round do and you know, go first, face that go jab, first, okay? get under that counter right hook and come back with her own left hook. You know, that's how she's going to have to counter that perfect right hook there. Faint the jab, get underneath it. Step outside that lead footer sky, Nicholson's a bit more. Hey, what did we see in this opening round, guys? Yeah, Scott, yeah Sky point. landed the, the cleaner shots, that's for sure, and a couple of big, big hooks uh, that won the round, I reckon. Oh. Here we go, round number two, the Commonwealth title fight. Nicholson strong with that right hook in the opener. Jacobs pressing forward but taking a shot again. Timing from Nicholson is perfect. Now she's committing, over committing with that jab and just getting caught every time she needs to faint and get underneath that hook. Get on the outside of Sky's jab. That right hand of Nicholson is right on again tonight. Jabbing and hooking. Nearly she looks like she's fencing with it. With it. Yeah. yeah, that's right, she does. She just does as she pleases with it. She's so hard to hit as well. Great footwork. She didn't win a gold medal for nothing, I guess. <laughs> she can box, Sky, and she's a uh, very, very tricky southpaw for any orthodox to fight. Still smiling, Nicholson. <laughs> Sky's shining bright under those lights tonight. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Jacobs just happy to back off for a while. Then she comes in and she takes a shot again. She just stutters. Can she find her way towards Nicholson? Who catches her on the way in again. That time with that power left hand. Bring your hands up. Switching and switching back. As Nicholson jabs away and then tries to hook with her. on the inside from Nicholson. Jacobs chases but can't find her. 
they take to the stools again after two more minutes. Because when you're switching through, you want to see your head move off to the side when you're switching through, all right, yeah? You don't want to switch straight through, put your chin up in the air. That foot come through, sit down and then fire off it. Jeff, you're a bit of a southpaw specialist in beating Manny Pacquiao. What would you say that Mousy Jacobs needs to do here to change the course of this fight? Well, let's just, before we talk about that, look at a southpaw who's in action tonight in our main event. Liam Paro having those hands wrapped. That's the right hand that'll be leading the action for him. And he's a man that Jeff Horn did plenty of work with in the lead up to that fight with Manny Pacquiao, Jeff. Yeah, I did. Uh, Liam was uh, very good in that preparation. He was a southpaw um, of similar weight and definitely prepared me well for that fight with Pacquiao. So we're going to see some of that skill tonight, which is what I was had to had to work with up to Pacquiao. Just watching Nicholson and Jacobs here, the Commonwealth title fight, and she is. Fencing away as Stevie Stop. Spark put Sweet. it with that lead right hand okay. is Nicholson. Stop. What more do you want to see from Sky Nicholson, Stevie? I think she's settling into the fight nicely. I think she wants to get a little bit more comfortable. She's going to start letting that left hand go down the pipe. You know, she's using that right hand lead perfectly, fencing with it, as we said. And the way she puts that back foot down on the ground, it really drives that left in. I think she's going to start landing some good shots. She did throw that shot as Nicholson gets her own left hook away through that power shot followed it up with that hook that's been so successful for her that's the only thing I'd like to see more is that that left that straight left from Sky she's using the right really good to control the fight but just walking her onto that shot throws to the body with that power shot does Nicholson and the right hand from Jacobs is fired out but again Nicholson's away Again, Sky Nicholson as they tangle and Corey not happy with the punching to the back of the head here in this third round. Mousy just seems to be circling the wrong way. She's circling at the inside of that right hand. Step to the left, get on the outside of that right, roll under. Reckless at times too, Jacobs, as she gets frustrated trying to find Nicholson. And puts herself in a bit of danger when she does that. Throws her own shot. There's Jacobs. Nicholson just hooks and moves again. Mousy's just got to throw that jab out, touch that hand, then throw her right hand down the middle, moving to her left. Sometimes just pine your feet. Pine your feet and land there, OK? Don't always spin that side, OK? Fainting and fidgeting, see if you can react. Yeah, sorry, double jab, pull back, hit her on the counter. Yeah, she's falling in, okay? Faint, half a step back, hit her on the counter. Here's that previous round of action, what did we see? Uh, it, was, it was some great advice from the corner, as what they're saying, that she's just got to let the girl come and, and walk her onto her punches, because Mousy wants to come forward. You can see that. And Sky's just got to take the steps back and, and lead her straight onto her, her counters. Yeah, I think once she settles into the fight a bit more, she's going to start leaning that left hand. I'd love to see Mousy step it up this round a bit more and take the fight off Sky a bit. Yeah, well, she needs to be energetic, says Jacobs. She needs to get inside and find the ghost that is Sky Nicholson. Oh, she was so good at getting out of the corner there. She was trapped in the corner for like a split second, but wasn't really trapped. She got out. She uses the ring beautifully, as well as that lead hand yeah. as Nicholson. Pumps that double jab out. That's what the corner asked for as well, doubling up of that jab, and she gets straight into it, and then single jabs strongly too. Oh, there's oh, that, that power shot. Man. That's beautiful stuff from Nicholson. Oh, 
hand from Jacobs, but Nicholson was moving with it. You notice Sky's bringing that lead hand up from her hip. Now, Mousy nearly can't see it. She's got her eyes on Sky's head, but you know, that lead hand's coming up from the bottom and hitting it every time, just like that. Fantastic time in boxing in Australia, of course, but a brilliant time too in female boxing. Oh! oh big shot. Three, Nicholson. Four, She's dropped it five, for the first time in this fight. Six, seven. Eight. Jacobs right. was falling Good. in and she was caught Both. hard. And Nicholson, she liked how that felt. She'll go again. Sky Nicholson looking to make a statement back home in Brisbane. She's had her down once. She looks for big shots. She's swinging here. Yeah, she's going for it. You don't normally see Sky like this. Mousy needs to hold on. And Sky not happy with being held there. She wanted to keep going. She looks clear though, does Jacobs. She's clear on the head. Yeah, she's recovered quickly after that. Legs back. Yep. Clean back shot. Yep. She went down, but Slow it down now. she continues. This is the corner right of Jacobs. Don't keep, don't keep following up. Don't get, yeah, you've got to cut that angle, cut yeah. that angle off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the knockdown. Yeah, that was just beautifully timed there. Oh, got her as she was coming in. <laughs> Look at Sky's face as Jacobs went down. She was almost in shock that she <laughs> caught her so cleanly. Perfect. Little right hands. Yes, get him off. And we return Box. to the action in the Commonwealth title fight. Nicholson with a 10 8 round in the previous. And she's having things all her own way. So far tonight. Just before the knockdown, I was talking about the strength of female boxing in this country, but Nicholson is now firing with those little hooks and jabs with that lead hands. She doesn't even need to use her backhand in this fight currently. She's winning it off that lead hand and just easily. Tell how confident she is as well. She's just got her hands down at times, moving her head, uh, dodging punches. Yeah. The hands are down, but she looks very really compact. She's very really tight, and comfortable. Well, she's controlling the distance. She knows the girl can't hit her from there. Oh, that's a beautiful shot with the left hand on that occasion from Nicholson. Jacobs falls in again. She's just trying to get inside and get closer to where she can punch from, but Nicholson really controlling things. Jacobs really needs to come in with some body shots. She's trying to go for the head a little bit too much, and she really needs to rough the sky out, uh, stop her to the body, and then go to the head. Very hard when she's getting tagged. Every time on the way in with that right hand, yeah. And the jab just keeps popping it out to Scott. Through a meaningful shot on oh, the footwork. Yeah. And the footwork is outstanding. Oh. 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 Big shot. Powerful left hand followed by a right hook from Nicholson. And the hands are right down now. And she's in cruise control. She's hard to hit, and she is tagging her opponent at will, is Sky Nicholson. Right. Fain before you go sometimes, okay? Fain before you go. Fain before you go. Don't go too far. Sometimes you make them miss. And here's some of that precision punching from Nicholson, the sort of stuff that has caught the attention of the boxing world in her young career so far. Roy Jones Jr. amongst those to have expressed themselves as fans of what Nicholson does. And those watching this evening will be impressed again. Keep chipping away, keep chipping away. 
so hard to find for opponents. Be interesting what kind of gear Mousy Jacobs comes out. Second half of this fight now. She really has to put her foot on the gas if she wants to win this fight. Second half of the fight. We are in now. And it's all been for Nicholson so far. Yeah, she's got that droppage in one of the rounds as well, so it's going to be tough for Jacobs to come back, and she really needs to trap Sky on the ropes or something and stop her moving, but it's, it's easier said than done. Um, is Nicholson, who scores and then gets away. low for Nicholson. She is so confident and so comfortable in there tonight. She looks in cruise control right now. She's, she's very, very confident. How about the improvements of this girl from her first pro fight to being back in Brisbane? It's unbelievable the, the difference she's made in just a short year. It's a boot in March. Incredible. This is her fifth pro fight and she is looking better than ever so far against the tough Tasmanian Mousy Jacobs. I wasn't sure how Sky was going to uh, trend going in the pros, but look, she's, she's settling in really well right now, landing big shots like that. Yeah, me too, Jeff. I was uh, very surprised at the differences that she's made to a short time. That hold. Come on, that hold in there. Box out. Break. Step back. Yeah, the little mouse under the right eye of Sky. Yeah. I don't know if the heads came together, perhaps. But there is significant swelling for Nicholson right around that eye. And it swelled up pretty quickly as well. So maybe a bit of damage around that eye for Nicholson. Could give Jacobs a bit of uh, confidence in these next few rounds. Definitely. Right on. Heavyweight action next. This is Patrick Corte. He'll be out shortly. Big, strong individual, 18 one and one as a pro. He's got a tough task tonight, though, against the world ranked and undefeated Australian, Dempsey McKean, who has a great deal to fight for tonight because promoter Eddie Hearn has made it very clear that he is auditioning this evening for a clash with one of those big name matchroom heavyweights. Dillian White, Anthony Joshua amongst them. Box. So a lot of pressure on McKean, who has promised that we're going to see a spectacular knockout this evening. So you can put your house on it, put your life on it. So high stakes for McKean tonight. Well, it is a two-horse race. I don't think I would put my house on it. <laughs> Swelling around the eye of Nicholson, not causing any issues for her just at the moment. Just yeah, sitting in centre of the ring, controlling it with that jab of hers. Jabbing away, she is again, Nicholson. Faints. Yeah, the feints are keeping Jacobs away. And making her hesitant to come in. Yeah. Because she's already been landed a big shot on. She doesn't want to get landed like that again. Another left hand. This guy's just starting to circle to that left now. You can see him starting to set up that left hand a bit more. So she threw with intent there with that left hand. Nicholson, and then she throws that power shot, and then she's away again and using her feet and jabbing and going to the body long with that left hand. Jacobs reluctant to fall in like she was earlier when she got caught and dropped. You know when Sky's comfortable when she's standing in the middle of the ring, and she's done that for a lot of this this round is control the centre. 
There's that left hand against Serpent to the left. And another. And another. Well, it might be up to Sky Nicholson to lead the action now because Jacobs has been dissuaded from getting in close. The Zone Soccer Show is here with regular updates on the biggest stories, the biggest names, and the best takes. <laughs> it's come from both of us. What's Paul Stryker? Jimenez. Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez, yeah, yeah. That's one for the outtakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Inside info from those in the know as well, taking a global view of the game that we love. The Zone Soccer Show with new content daily. Give me your top five goal scorers this season. Chelsea. Man. Chelsea haven't got anyone out no. there. Sorry, Raheem Sterling. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know if it'll come from Jacobs because she's trying her best and she's shown her toughness, but she just can't match it with Nicholson. But does she put the foot down here, Sky, and try and do oh, something special? Oh, good one. I'd love to see her play at the feet and let the hands go now and, and really make a statement for the hometown, the Brisbane crowd here. They'd love this. And I'm sure she'd love to win the Commonwealth title in fashion like that. She can hurt Mousy Jacobs. She's seen that. She's got a round and under a minute now to do it. She looks like she's looking for it now too. Jacobs flying back there with the shot. There's that hook from Nicholson. Just sticks the tongue out on it. Yeah. Loving it. Leading in with that hook. Here's Jacobs again and smiling all the time is Nicholson. Enjoying her homecoming as she cruises towards a Commonwealth title. This girl can box. He's so frustrating. I'd be wanting to take that smile off her face, that's for sure, if I was against her. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Smiling Sky Nicholson is loving her night out in Brisbane tonight. She's laughing at the But she's got to be a little bit desperate this round. She's got one more round to go. And don't let her got get two lucky, minutes of okay? action left. Don't let her get lucky. Wait, 30 Sky. She's going to go. She's going to give it go for 30 seconds. Some of the highlights from round number nine, gentlemen. It's all one-way action with that lead hand. Frustrating night for Christina Jacobs. Sky just proven to be too much tonight for her. Quite a gallant effort at that from Mousy Jacobs. She's searching for a nickname. Perhaps she is the ghost because she is just so hard to find for her opponents. And she scares them with shots. Oh, one, two, she goes. Jacobs, so tough, as we knew she would be. Still there, still trying, still punching. Oh, oh she takes hook. a good shot there from Nicholson. Oh, in the jab. Look on Sky's face. She's loving it out there right now. I wish I loved my fights as much as <laughs> yeah, I <know. laughs> And Jeff Horn rarely looked like that during fights. Oh, I blood coming down my face all <laughs> the Yes. Some dramatic nights here in Brisbane. The Hornet. Just under a minute to go here in the last round. Definitely a different style of fight, that's for sure, that I would fight with. <laughs> Sky's very, very good at fighting on the back foot like this and yeah. making her punches, uh, making her opponents walk onto her punches. She steps in there and throws a shot, and they come together awkwardly. Great step back. And this Commonwealth title fight. Oh, what a push there. It's a shove. The heads came together yeah. again, so. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Swelling Fox, now on both sides for Nicholson. She won't like that. No, 20 cool. seconds left in this one. She's done well to keep away from the majority of the punches in this fight. She's had a couple of head clashes. It's going to give her a couple of black eyes, I reckon. Oh, come on, box out. There we go. Box out. Break. And that's it. Sky Nicholson. With a clinical performance, she's won the Commonwealth title here in Brisbane. Her homecoming is a success. There's some swelling, but they're smiling too all through this fight. And there will be afterwards because she was dominant and she was immense. And Christina Mousy Jacobs was tough, but she just couldn't find her and she couldn't hurt her and we see eddie coming in congr congratulating her basically already which is which is good to see uh, i guess we know what the result's going to be here
Yeah, don't be surprised if we see Sky Nicholson fight for a world title within under a year. She's a real talent, someone to watch. And she doesn't look like she's just gone 10 rounds. She looks as fresh as you like. Now see Jacobs, she was dropped, but she was there to the end. She's given a good account of herself. But she'll be beaten here tonight by a special one. 5-0 and oh, she'll go to. And she salutes her friends and family and growing fan base here in Queensland. And there was a bit of destiny about this fight tonight. She, of course, won her Commonwealth Games gold medal not too far from here on the Gold Coast. And she comes back to win her first belt as a professional, the Commonwealth featherweight title. We'll have a chat with Sky Nicholson as well pretty shortly. Still to come here tonight, of course, it is the co-main event, heavyweight action. The world-ranked Dempsey McKean takes on Patrick Corte from Germany, 18-1-1 one and one as a pro, a big puncher with 15 knockouts to his credit. Then it is our all-important domestic showdown, the main event. Liam Paro is fighting 